Hello, I have here the Lego Jurassic World Dominion set called Blue and Beta Velociraptor Capture. I kind of like the name. I bought this for $30 US and I built it live over on Twitch. This set has a pretty nice variety of stuff, including the two minifigures, two animals, the truck here, a bike, a little bit of terrain and a trap as well, just to get you a better idea of the overall size of everything. I wanted to rotate this around once and we'll get into looking at things up close. I think I'm gonna start with a look at that blue, who is another new version. Wow, so we've got a bunch of different renderings of what blue would look like in Lego form. And they're rather different. So this is the newest one and it has the most conservative color scheme to date, possibly closest to the most accurate to what we have for blue in the movies now, but I think it probably should have been darker. I don't know. Uh, the markings are definitely very good. I like the level of detail with the tan on there and the tan does give a subtle difference and a subtle suggestion of texture on top of the plain light, uh, light gray does have the different look on either side. So you can see this eye does not have the dark markings going across it. This one does. It's good to see that asymmetry. This is more, I think the side that we've probably seen more of, or at least the one that connects with me a little bit better. But otherwise, this is the same build, you know, of standard Utah Raptor based fake Velociraptor from Jurassic World that Lego has been doing for quite some time. So there's nothing else, you know, there's nothing else new to learn about or to see with this one in terms of its articulation and what it can do. I do want to compare this, however, to the last one that we got officially from Lego that represented blue. Look at the difference there. Uh, I'm not going to get into the, the baby ones. I'm just going to show you the... <laughs> Just going to show you the full size ones. I mean, this is such a different color scheme. It almost doesn't make sense. Um, yeah, that's supposed to be the same dinosaur. How? How? <laughs> Look at how many colors are used on this. And then let's go back. Let's go back a little bit farther. Let's go back to the first official blue. Whoa, completely different, completely different. I really liked this one too. Um, and you know, it really leans into the, the blueness of it <laughs> with the blue stripe, but then going with the dark green and sand green, it's just, what a, what a change, huh? This meanwhile is beta, but it looks to be a perfect clone of blue. Look at the asymmetry there. Uh, you know, it's just, it's just younger, but this one's really interesting because this is closer to realistic size of a Velociraptor, closer, not the, not the same, but definitely closer. And it's not the baby, right? The baby's, the baby mold is smaller. This is an intermediate size, which I completely didn't, didn't catch on to until I actually opened up this set here. This is really nice. I definitely look forward to getting more dinos that are, you know, in different colors and with different color schemes on them. Just comparing between the two, you can clearly see that there's something pretty identical going on between them, you know? This little trap build, meanwhile, is meant to capture Beta, and it's just the right size, and it looks pretty pretty proper to me, pretty appropriate. So the idea is it would be trying to go through, and then it would get caught right here, and then this would come up, and then this would come up, and then all of this can be transported around. This is a good little design for a compact trap that just works. So I totally, I totally dig it, I totally get it. it, makes sense to me, and I think it's an appropriate size and everything. Pickup truck, meanwhile, is a pickup truck. It's got that Lego city style, so there's nothing, nothing too fancy about this, nothing innovative, but it looks good. It looks right. It's just a pretty straightforward American pickup. I don't know exactly what age it's supposed to be. It could be a little bit classic. It could be a little bit new. It's got a little, little bit more of a classic color scheme to it with the white and red there. I like it. It has a generous enough bed. You know, you can put some stuff in there. Got the inner fenders which I think look good. And yeah, I mean, it, it's, it's fine. It does have only seating for a single person in the cab, centered seating position, nothing but a, a steering wheel and a little piece of BMO hair in there. Sorry about that. But uh, you know, for just a basic truck from Lego, I think it's fine. And I don't know if this is appropriate, but you can put this in here if you want to. See, that fits right there. 
Last two things are a mountain bike with the plain light gray colored frame and silver wheels, and then just a little ramp. So just a suggestion of terrain that's gonna be navigated by the person on the bike, and they're gonna to have to do a jump. And you know, it just gives you a little, little something extra. It's, I think this is mostly just using up remaining uh, budget for the set. It was preset. The figures are the obviously evil Rain Delacorte there on the left and on the right is Maisie. I don't know what her last name is. I haven't looked into the film too much. I will definitely watch it when it comes out, but I haven't looked into it too much and really gotten into the, the lore such as can be gleaned from the, the pre-release information and such. Both of these figures though look very good to me. I like the level of detail. I think that the production work is good. I like the little metallic details for the buttons in there and everything. The fact that the coat comes down into the legs, it's printed pretty well. Would be really nice to have dual molded legs there, though, you know, in order to get the, the, the gray from the coat to continue around the side. But I really like the print for Maisie on the right and also this new color combination for the combined hair and hat. Alternate face there, good print around the back. Alternate face there as well. These are both nice figs, I think. Finally, these are the only leftover pieces and there are no stickers to report. Uh, looking at price and value, this is like a little bit more than $10 right here with the two figures. Let's call that, let's call that $15. This is not five. This is, <laughs> we're not at 20 yet. We're not at 20 yet. Can I call that 20? a stretch but i think i can call that 20 so that means in in my view just doing this exercise I, i'm gonna say that this is like a ten dollar thing that there is they're asking me to pay ten dollars for this i don't want to pay ten dollars for it so this feels a little bit overpriced to me not too much you know it's it's within a a somewhat reasonable range i would like to see it go on sale though uh i don't know 15, 20% off, something like that. But the stuff that is here is good. Uh, this new mold is fantastic. I very much love that. This is good. I almost wonder what it would look like if it was done in uh, a dark gray instead of the light gray. But it's pretty cool for what it is. Nothing here is a throwaway. Nothing here is bad. Yeah, I just wish the price was just a little bit lower. Otherwise, pretty good stuff you know for for what it is thank you for watching i will keep working to bring you more reviews and talk to you again soon